The state of the world has never been more challenging, and yet the opportunities for New Zealand have never been greater. What we're seeing around the world is unprecedented speed of change and complexity of change, but also interdependence of change. So technology, for example, can have great beneficial impacts on uh, business and society, but it can also have some very negative consequences. Um, similarly, with the environment, we are um, ever more pressing on to cleaner technologies, but we've got huge issues to solve. And um, yet um, out of this comes great opportunities for New Zealand because we are a small, fast moving country. And over the last 10 years or so, we've gained enormously in confidence and capability. Um, our com companies are much better at commercializing technology, at engaging with markets and getting themselves out there in the world. And we're getting better in New Zealand at working out what issues we need to work on um, and get constructive about that. One of the great benefits of being a small country like ours is that our politics and democracy works very much better um, than in much larger countries. So in this world, um, it's really important that New Zealand can pull off three great attributes that larger countries can't. We can have, as we do, a common sense about the world and what we want to achieve in it, a common purpose about what we're doing, how we're going to do that. And then we generate common wealth in all senses of the word, economically, socially, culturally, and environmentally to the benefit of all. That's a community, that's a society uh, where people are encouraged to participate um, and therefore we can move faster and with confidence. And yet we have the courage um, and the compassion um, to bring along those um, who find that journey harder. This is the New Zealand I'm very proud and happy to live in. And this is the New Zealand I write about as a journalist and speak about.